Louisiana Governor Bobby Jindal says the Mississippi River Commission uh, has given the U.S. Army Corps of Engineers the authority to operate uh, the spillway, the Morganza spillway, within the next 24 hours. And the governor says it's extremely likely floodgates will be open tomorrow night or Sunday morning. CNN's Gene Meserve takes us behind the scenes for a closer look at how these tough decisions are made. Gene. Wolf, the historic flooding on the Mississippi isn't just being fought on the riverbanks. It's being fought here in this Army Corps of Engineers Operations Center. One key part of the battle, a daily teleconference in this situation room. When we start to get down to Vicksburg and Natchez and Baton Rouge, you'll see that we again go up against the record crest. This is a war room. The enemy is the water. The weapons are reservoirs and levees and floodways. Armed with maps and graphs and weather forecasts, the Army Corps of Engineers is plotting its strategy via teleconference. We have uh, three locks currently uh, closed. What this allows uh, all of us in the U.S. Army Corps of Engineers to do is to gain good situational awareness over what is happening with the system currently and in the near future. And the system is huge. It's the third largest watershed on the earth and and that is true it drains 34 states uh, and has many many tributaries uh, that that feed into it the floodwaters are relentlessly pushing southward into cities and cropland for you does an emergency get any bigger than this this is the biggest one uh, we've had to deal with since uh, 2005 so there's no question about it that was Katrina, when levees breached and cities drowned. $14.7 billion have been spent rebuilding the levee system, but the work isn't done yet, and a surge of muddy Mississippi water is on its way. This is a huge flood fight, an historic flood fight. Numbers are being crunched 24-7 at this operations center to calculate the best course of action. Open a floodgate, evacuate a town, stop navigation, General Temple says if he wins this war against the water, it will be by the thinnest of margins, by inches. And everyone here is well aware that hurricane season is right around the corner. We could have quite a barrel of monkeys here. <laughs> the end of May, beginning of June, if something like that happens. This command center is a thousand miles away from the flooding, but it allows the Army Corps to interact with all the other agencies also involved in this life and death battle on the Mississippi. Wolf, back All to right, you. Thank you, Gene Meserve reporting. Mary Snow's mom.